Today I'm going to show you how to create an equation in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. And this is from a graph. So you're going to create your equation in y equals mx plus b form for each graph. So here's the equation. Remember that m is always your rate of change, which you use rise over run for a graph. Another word for this is slope. So it's your slope or rate of change. b is your y-intercept is the point where your graph goes through the y-axis. So in order to find it for a graph, you need to first identify two points where your graph goes through the grid work on the coordinate grid. So like this wouldn't be a point I could choose because it's not intersecting at a spot where the, the grid work intersects. So you're given two points here, but just know if you're given a line without two points, you can always find where dots would go, it's just where it intersects with the grid work. So with these two points, I'm going to do rise over run. That means if I start at the bottom point, I'm going to rise up until I'm directly across from my other point. So I have to figure out how many I went up. Well, I went up one, two boxes, and each box is worth one. So I went up two. And going up is positive because you're going towards positive numbers. Down's negative because it's towards negatives. Now the run part. From this point, I'm going to run to my other point. I ran one box, and well, since each box is worth one, I ran one unit. But I ran towards the negatives, and so it makes it negative one. So my slope, which I'm going to call m, my rise was two and my run was negative one. So I'm gonna reduce this. Two divided by negative one is negative two. And my y-intercept, it's just the point where your graph crosses the y-axis. It crosses right here, which is positive two. So writing your equation in slope-intercept form, or y equals mx plus b form, x and y stay as the variables when you actually write the equation. And so it's written as, y equals m, which is our slope, which is negative 2, x, so this is slope times x, plus the y-intercept, which is positive 2, okay, or b. All right, I'm going to show you a couple more. All right, again, to find the slope, do rise over run. Here are two points. So I always start at the bottom one, so I can rise up and I until I'm straight across from my other point. I went up one box, but if you look at this graph, each box is worth two. And so my rise was actually two, because I went from negative four to negative two. So my rise was two, and now I'm going to run over to my other point. So I run two boxes. But again, each box is worth two, so I run two, four. And I ran towards positive, so it is positive. I can reduce this by dividing top and bottom by two. Two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two, so my slope is one half. And my y-intercept, the point where the graph goes through the y-axis, that value is negative four. So the equation, is y equals one half is the slope x. Since it's negative four, you put minus four. All right, hopefully you're getting this and we'll just do two more. Again, slope, rise over run. I start with the bottom point, rise up. And I rise two boxes, and each box is worth one in this graph. So my rise is two. I run over, and I run to the right, one box. Two divided by one is two. Oops, that was M. I don't know why I wrote B. I always start with your slope. <laughs> Y-intercept is B. Goes to the Y-axis at a value of three. So to create the equation, it is y equals 2x plus 3. And last one. Let's see, I have 
a slope. So let's start with M. I'm going to do between these two points, so I'm going to rise up until I'm straight across from my other point. And I rise three boxes, but I notice each box is worth two. So two, four, six is my rise. So be careful of what your units increase by for each box. Then I run over to the other one. Two, four, six, again. Six divided by six is one. Then for my y-intercept, which is B, it goes to the y-axis at negative six. So when I write this equation, it's y equals 1x minus 6. But 1x is the same thing as x, so this is the same thing as x minus 6. So either answer is correct. This one's just more simplified.